Hi, Brazil, what's up? It's LP, and you're listening to 89FM, a Radio Rock. Fala, galera, beleza? Eu sou o Wendel Corrêa e hoje eu vou conversar com a LP, que está lançando um novo álbum chamado Church em dezembro de 2021. Também a atração do Lola Palusa vai tocar no dia 25 de março de 2022. Você sabe que a Rádio Rock é a rádio oficial do Lola Palusa. Trocar ideia com ela sobre isso e muito mais, tudo com exclusividade para 89. How are you, LP? I'm good, I'm good, I'm just. Um... Just woke up. <laughs> <I'm tired. laughs> Had a wild weekend, uh, but I'm good. Are you rehearsing a lot for the tour? Uh, that's what I'm do, doing right after this. So, what do you miss most about tours? Um, uh, everything. You know, like the people, the like the energy of it. It's just like you're in your uh, when you're on tour. It's like if you like you're in your own little world. You know, it's like it's like and you are because it's like all. It's it's your bubble. It's like your it's about your music and your fans and the people that are into what you're doing. So you can get really um focused on on um the energy of that, which is cool. I mean, you know, like it's that it's uh it's wild, you know. It's it, it and it's and it's really it's fun and beautiful to see um the effect of your work on people. So that's always really nice. And you are coming to Brazil. It is going to be your first time in Brazil on March. Yeah, yeah. I was so excited because uh, 2020, I was like supposed to go, and um, and I was really looking forward to because out of every place in South America, I think that was the only place I didn't go, and I was just really looking forward to it. So now I'm just you know I had to wait a little longer, and now I'm I'm back. I'm excited. <laughs> and what do you know about Brazil? Um, I know that it's beautiful, the women are beautiful, and um, that people are cool. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. What can we, can we expect for your show, your performance on a festival like Lollapalooza, here in Brazil, especially? Uh, you know, um, I mean, you know, a lot of things. It's going to be a lot of new stuff, and, um, and definitely all the, uh, you know, I feel like uh, a lot of my songs have been doing pretty well there so um, i'm excited to just connect with people you know um uh it'll be a dope show it's gonna be good and uh i just can't wait to uh to breathe in that that air and feel that vibe you know <laughs> excited i've been to all Lollapalooza days here in brazil and i've watching your shows on youtube and i'm sh i'm sure it's gonna be one of the best concert of the Lollapalooza and i mean it <laughs> Oh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I um, I hope so. I'm gonna try, <laughs> but I mean, it's a really cool lineup. So, you know, if nothing else, I'll see some other cool shit. <laughs> and they put it on the same day as the Strokes, so I think yeah. it fits well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I, I I got to play with them. Um, I played right before them uh a couple of years ago at Ohana Festival. And, uh, I mean, the Strokes are one of my favorite bands of all time, so I always like seeing them. And um, and uh. Julian's so cool. And you're going to release a new album on the same church. How was the process of writing and recording this new album? Um, you know, it was unlike any other because, I mean, we, um, you know, obviously because the pandemic kind of got, like, hit right right in the middle of it. <laughs> so uh, it was weird, you know. It's like um, I thought the album was done. Um, for the most part, you know, I thought I was going to, like, you know, refine it a little while I was on tour. And, uh, and then... You know, then the pandemic hit and I had some time, so uh, I just started writing other songs. And so now there's a bunch of new songs on there that wouldn't have been there if um, I hadn't uh, had the time. And I think some of those songs really made the album, you know, even so much better. So, um, you know, it's just, just like I had the time to even be there during production with Mike. And I feel like uh, Mike Del Rio, my producer and co-writer and... Um, And it wasn't as like, um, you know, like when you're on tour and they're sending you examples and you're like making notes and sending them back. And so this was like hands on. So I, I, I haven't done that in a, in a couple of albums. So it was cool. And I read on the Internet, you some songs were made in Mexico. Is that right? Yeah, we had a whole that was actually the pre pandemic trip, like right before um, like it was like like December or something before we were going to leave for tour in March. And it was a. Uh, It was in Cabo San Jose, and um, it was so dope. Like it was, um, it was a vibe. I mean, we like we wrote like I don't know, like ten songs, and a bunch of them made this record. And some of them will make the next record, 
but uh but yeah i i'm i was very excited um for the for like what we got from that session and you also said the album feels like a friend what kind of friend is <laughs> like a party <laughs> someone to cry with <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, like, when I do have parties, I usually, like, I usually invite, like, all these different people, like, like, I had a hang at my house the other day, and, and I don't think anybody knew anybody, <laughs> there were, like, a couple people, but everybody loved everybody, it was, like, it was, like, um, it, it belonged together, so I feel like I kind of, that's what I do with albums, you know, it's, like, I just, like, have, because I have, um, you know, different things um, turn me on or whatever. And, um, you know, some songs are sad and introspective and some songs are like, you know, celebratory. And, um, you know, it's just like, it's like, uh, I'm, a, I'm a moody motherfucker, you know? I'm just like fucking, <laughs> like, sometimes I'm in the mood to like, you know, be sad. Sometimes I'm in the mood to like get down, you know? Sometimes I'm in the mood to just like, you know, um, be nice <laughs> all over the place. And do you write about your own experience or sometimes you put in someone else's shoes? Um, both, but mostly my own, you know, sometimes I'm just like kind of, it could be my, my own, like, you know, somebody else's experience through like my lens, you know, like where I feel like I'm, uh, you know, I can relate to that and, and also like empathize with it. And, uh, then I, I just like, uh, you know, go from there, but mostly it's like, it's pretty, you know, intensely one of my own experiences. And you also said I'll be forever falling in and out of love. And then when I read that, so is this the secret of life? <laughs> when we understand falling, it. Oh, falling in and out of love? Yes. <laughs> what What about it? <laughs> oh, I said I said it was the secret of life. <laughs> no, I, I thought when I read it that you say it, you say that, I said, oh, is this the secret of life? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> is falling in and out of love. Oh yeah, everybody's falling in love. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you know, like I think, um, I don't know. You know, I, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not against forever. You know what I mean? But like, you know, like I have like, you know, uh, one of my albums names forever for now. Like, you know, tattooed on my chest. You know what I mean? Like, and I mean, I guess that puts it pretty, you know, explains it. You know, like forever for now um, is like. I mean, I want, I want it to feel like forever, always, you know, but, um, you know, shit happens, things, things live and things die. <laughs> and, you know, I don't, I don't get negative about it, but it just, it, it is what it is, as, uh, you know, people say. And do you write your songs on ukulele? Is that right? Uh, not all of them, you know, some of them, you know, and then I put ukulele on some that haven't been written with ukulele. It depends, you know, I let the ukulele um be who it is you know <laughs> like i don't put any pressure on the ukulele like you know i'm not like overwriting a song here's a ukulele you ready <laughs> you know, i don't give a shit you know like if the ukulele is like in it or or makes it you know i'm just like sick <laughs> good there's a lot of our songs that you whistle do you whistle a lot oh yeah yeah the whistling also like that's the thing like i feel like i never think to myself ah, that song has a whistle in it. I can't put a whistle in it. If the whistle fits, then the whistle goes in. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, if, it, if, you know, if it's, if it's the right part, then fuck it. I think it's just like an extension of my voice at this point, you know? That's great. And Churchill is also the name of a song on the record. Why did you choose Church as album title as well? Um, for one of the things I wanted to, it to bring attention to the song because I wasn't sure if the song would, you know, like, I don't think the song will probably be a single. I don't know. We'll see, but uh, probably not. But I had a feeling it might not be. And I just, I thought it was a cool title anyway, because I feel like there is something about it when I, when I see it just as a word, I feel like it um, kind of symbolizes for me, like uh, anything like just like that people hold sacred, like, like that we have a, each one of us has like our own church of like meaning inside of us, like what we, what we hold dear, sacred, what's like important to us and what we like, you know, want to protect. And I feel like that's what churches embodies to me. It feels like it's a, it's a place where each person can like kind of hold their most sacred thoughts and feelings and dreams and, and that they, you know, and that, and that they're entitled to that. Like they don't, they don't owe anybody an explanation for it or whatever it is you know it's like it's your personal shit like i don't think anybody should be like you should be a christian you know like like fuck off you know like 
get out of here. <laughs> you know, do what you want. You know, it's like, but also I, Christianity, love it. You know, I was raised, you know, Catholic. I'm like, you know, I'm all about God and all that stuff. But I, you know, but I don't, I, I hate telling people how to believe, especially in God. That's like nobody's business, but your own, in my opinion, in my opinion. That's awesome. And do you have a favorite track on the album? I don't think so, man. You know, I just kind of bounce around and I, and I, and I do think I, I'm most excited. Like I, I, I'm, I've been excited for each single to be released, but like when I, when I listen to the record as a whole, I feel like that's when it's at its best almost. I feel like it's like a really, I am like, I think I'm most, um, you know, I love all my records, but I think this one, as far as a record to be listened to all together feels very good. Like, like I feel like it, It fits together very well and the flow is nice and um, I'm excited for people here as a whole, but um, I'm, I might say that maybe churches is one of my favorites, you know, it's kind of a, in my opinion, a little different uh, subject matter than, you know, I usually write about, you know, I'm always usually writing about ladies and things like this and <laughs> romance. <laughs> and this is like, not about that. This is like for like, like, like the fans, you know? And what about the art cover with a bird? Who has the idea for oh. this art cover? <laughs> I, well, I wanted, yeah, I wanted something that was like cool and that I had like a kind of like almost like a, um, you know, like a papal, like kind of church, like, um, you know, um, kind of, uh, uh, what, what would you say, like reverence sort of, you know, and, um, and we were just looking at different birds. I wanted a crow. I just, you know, I got, just got like crows tattooed on my like I want a crow but like somebody else had just done a crow that like I I kind of knew like um and uh and also you can't get a real crow apparently they'll peck your fucking eyes out so I was just like I'm good <laughs> you know like <laughs> screw the crow and then we looked at some other birds and that bird just looked really cool and um and she her name was chicken and um she was really funny and uh <laughs> she made this like She had this horrible sound like that um not horrible but i you know when i when i came into the studio for the for the photo shoot i just hear I, it, it sounded literally like an actual alarm it was that loud and that high it's like ah! and like and I, i just thought like it, it kept happening so i thought it was the door opening you know and then i'm sitting there like this and she did it right in my ear <laughs> But anyway, but she was really cute, and uh, I think she did a really good job acting because I love that she has her head down in the in the main picture for the cover, and uh, and um, you know she killed it. Chicken nailed it. <laughs> It's funny, chick. A bird name as chicken. <laughs> yeah. She's really cute. And you have really high quality these videos. It seems like we are watching movies. Uh, how much do you help in the creative process to shoot in a video? Um, it's like a collaborative thing, you know, like, um, very, very much like writing songs, but I also, especially on a video thing, I always kind of, you know, I, I like to let people, um, do what their, is their thing, like what they do best, you know, and Steven, uh, you know, really, um, you know, kind of brought so much to the table. He did like one last time and, um, and, uh, oh, he did angels too. Um, but he did, um, uh, oh, and goodbye. Yeah. And he just like, and then, you know, we, he, he comes up with something and then I come up with something and we kind of build on there. Like, you know, like, um, I think like one of my favorite videos was one last time, just because it was like, a, just like kind of a massive party, you know, like, um, and, uh, and it literally felt like we were living that, that scenario. Like I almost like, like the next day I was like, what happened to my beautiful house and my beautiful wife? <laughs> Where are they? You know, like, I felt like I wanted to live in that video for like forever, you know, but um, yeah, they're always like when they're, when like, they're always fun, you know, like, and I try to make them fun. So like, they're like something um, that I want to like watch over and over again. And you can like disappear into them. And there is also a lot of candles on the, the videos for this album church is relative to church. The name of the album as well. Right. Um, I don't know what you mean. There's a lot of what on these records? Candles. Candles. Yes. Oh. Oh, you mean in the oh in the all the oh yeah. There's in a the lot video. of candles in How Low yeah. Can You Go. There's a lot of candles in One Last Time. I don't see any candles in the Angels, but maybe there. No, in, in the Angels um, there is not. I was. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely. I was, was searching. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, I know. I'm seeing each other. Um, but uh, yeah, no. I, uh, Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, as I go on and like talk about the record, I realize that it actually does have like 
it did come together with like kind of a theme of like you know uh church and stuff like that i mean it could be like you know i um you know maybe um i don't know maybe i'm dealing with my own mortality i have no idea you know <laughs> like, like i feel like i'm you know i definitely i mean you know after this time that we just went through and all these things i feel like i i definitely can appreciate um even more i already appreciated my career and my life and it's, it's stupid i can't you know like i'm in oh my god i can't like i think at the end of my life i'm gonna be like no that didn't happen <laughs> I would be like, that was a that was a dream <laughs> you know um and but i you know i think um i'm always like it always like um you know makes me even more grateful and and then it connects me to like you know uh god more and uh spirituality more and uh you know, and I love that. And I, and I love writing about it. And I love giving a different perspective as far as like, you know, you don't have to be pious, you know, like all this, you know, for me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, like, I think, you know, you can see that I'm like as irreverent as they come, you know, but I have respect for like things too, you know what I mean? And I'm like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to disrespect anybody. You know, I, I hold respect of uh, people's ideals and what they hold dear, you know, more than anything i don't want anyone to ever feel like i don't respect their beliefs you know so i don't know i just want to like i want everybody to do their thing but just you know don't stop me from doing my thing how's that <laughs> i think that's the secret of life respect everyone <laughs> yeah. and the song lost one was a huge success all over the world what means lost on you on your career um just like you know it just symbolizes like you know like don't give up. And, you know, I mean, I tell this story constantly about how I was dropped from my label after they heard that song. Um, and, you know, I owed them money. Like they had, like they needed, like if they wanted any of that money back, you know, they're a big company they don't really give a shit, but still, you know what I mean? Like if they wanted to like, like get it back or like do something then they could have, you know, they would have ruined it anyway. It would have been all fucked up, but I, it symbolizes like, you know, don't let, people what we were just talking about like like make you not believe in yourself or whatever you know i mean because people are gonna go yeah i don't get it you know i mean music is subjective i mean you know you you have best friends that like are like i hate that shit <laughs> you know and you're like i love this shit you know so what <laughs> it's not like you know it's not like that's what makes the world go around it's it's so dope you know like i'm so glad that that's the case so It just made me like just remember to like not it doesn't matter like you know just because one person doesn't get it doesn't mean it's over and just like I'm glad um I'm glad I was allowed to like ultimately at the you know and get through and and see that like the possibilities of of myself and 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 all the people that didn't believe there are plenty of people that did believe but like the people that didn't believe and you're like and i don't feel any kind of like hey <laughs> fuck you. I, you know i mean a little bit but but i don't like i don't have any like i'm not mad <laughs> at, at them you know i'm just like i to me it's just like i don't, I don't think about them i think about the people that I did. i'm like you see like <laughs> you can do it too <laughs> it's true it happens you know and don't like you know it's a miracle miracles i shouldn't have written a fucking song called miracles i don't know why i didn't next record Don't steal my, it's going to be like 80 songs called Miracles. It's kind of that's, a, awesome. it, that's kind of a scary title. You'd have to, it'd be like so schmaltzy, you know, like you'd have to like put it in like months just be like, Miracles, and then have a whole month. <laughs> <thing. laughs> and I'm curious about something. Why did you decide to be known as LP and not as Laura? Pergolizzi. Um, you know, <laughs> um, I, I, I was working in a restaurant like, you know, back in the day and um, there was another Laura and, um, and they asked me if I wanted to be like Laura too. I was like, no, I don't do twos. <laughs> no, I was kidding. But they were, I was like, you could, how about LP? You know, because a friend of mine once called me, I don't even know how that came because it was like when I was a kid, somebody called me LP and I remember thinking to myself, I like that. That's, that's cool. <laughs> you know, but I was like, you know, I was like fucking eight. So I'm not going to be like, I changed my name to LP, <laughs> like, you know? So I didn't, uh, I held on to it, I guess, and then it popped out. And then my band at the time started calling me LP. It's like, you know, like nicknames to me, like if they stick, they just stick, you know, and it just becomes a thing. But but as it started, people started to call me LP. It just felt like me more. It resonated, you know, and like, I feel like, you know, like your parents name you, like 
they never even met you, you know, like you're, you know, <laughs> you're this big. They're just like, this is your name, you know, and you don't get to decide, you know, and I never, I never understood that I could change it. And then when I did, I felt like <clears throat> I really, it was the beginning of the, of really becoming myself, you know, and, and now I just don't connect with Laura at all. I don't even like, it's not like, you know, it doesn't, yeah, it's like if I called you Steve, you know, it's like, it's not your name. <laughs> like, well, sorry. Yeah. That I uh, understand it. That would go <laughs> Thank you so wow. much. I be, oh, appreciate it. Times. Of course, man. I'm going to see you in uh in Brazil. Yeah, I hope show. so. I'm going to be uh, backstage. Hope to see you. Cool, 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 man. It's great to see, great to meet Thank you. you. Thank so you much. so much. Have a great Thanks. rehearsal, a great tour. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Bye. 89. A Rádio Rock.